welcome to another studio vlog. Today is Wednesday the 12th of July but the content you're about to see is what I was filming from Saturday and that is because on Saturday it was a really rainy day and I had started feeling really low through the week and I wasn't feeling myself at all. I was really struggling actually with a few different things. Uh, I haven't had any orders yet in July online which really got to me and I started really doubting myself. Um, I ran a sale and I got no, no orders at all in that sale and it's really unusual since starting I've not had this sort of continuous no order situation so to have 12 days in a row with no online orders after just investing in the Shopify website and listing so many products on Etsy I think mentally I was just in panic mode. Thankfully, obviously, I've got the high street shop here, which you will have seen in previous vlogs. And so my mind started thinking about how things sell really well in store nearly every day. So I thought about how I could maybe increase those sales in store because I have a lot more control over the displays in store and the people that I'm reaching. And so I thought maybe I could make a more enhanced display in store showcasing that the products that they are seeing are products designed and made by me, the person working in the shop. And I came up with the idea of moving an area of the shop around, which was looking a bit messy anyway. It wasn't looking great. And I have wanted to uh, do something with that area anyway. So I cleared it all down on the Saturday, uh, cleared it, painted it. And well, you'll see in the content all of what I managed to get done. So it's basically what I filmed from the Saturday onwards. We close on Sunday and Monday, and those are the two days that I had all the equipment um, turn up that I wanted to create the new displays. And yeah, it's I'm really pleased with it. I'm really happy with how it's going so far. It's not finished quite yet because I need to get a few more slat wall um, shelving units to be able to put some more bits on. And I realised I didn't actually have that much stock left. It wasn't until I started creating this new display that I realised I've sold out of loads of the designs and products or I've only got one left of certain designs and products. So now that I have this dedicated display in the shop, it means that I've got barely any sort of stock out here in the studio. Uh, there is just my dedicated area in the shop and then a few bits dotted around in the sort of stationary areas of the shop. It also means I've now got a whole aisle in the middle of the shop which is supposed to be dedicated to stationery but doesn't focus just on my products so I can now start looking to order from other creatives some products that will work well in the shop but are different to what I offer so not my sort of cozy characters and greens and calm colours I can look for some suppliers of stationery and pin badges and notepads and all the things that I know sell really well here in the shop I can look to order some from other creatives uh, who create something completely different, different styles to what I do. I've already got my eye on a few different um, people that I found on YouTube. Uh, so there's some companies that do some really good mental health related products uh, and some products related to sort of like the pinks because I don't do anything pink. Pink isn't my colour at all. So I'm thinking I'm going to approach those and ask if they do wholesale so that I can start stocking them here in the shop in the uh, sort of stationary aisle of the shop that I have moved my products mostly away from. Mine will be dotted in and about with those products, but I want to have like an area for notepads and not just mine other brands of notepads because mine is now in this new area and you are about to see. And then me creating this new art and design by KB shop display. I really hope you enjoy watching the process and I shall come back at the end of the video uh, to let you know how I'm feeling about it and yeah, my ideas for moving forward.
So we're jumping on a little bit because there is a little part of it I didn't film, which is some of putting up some of the equipment. But this is how it is looking so far. What you can see here is the embroidery threads. Those are going to move because I feel like they're a little bit distracting. Um, but I'm really, really happy with these shelves. I've put them up with no more nails rather than with screws into the wall, just because I'm more comfortable with that than having to drill a load of holes into the wall. A lot of the walls in this building are not the greatest for um, any form of hammering nails in or screwing anything in. So I was a little bit worried about having to do that. But no more nails has made them really nice and solid. And obviously pin badges and bookmarks and things aren't too weighty anyway. So at the moment, what I've got is my bookmarks, only my newer designs. So all my older designs I've kept over with the other bookmark display stand because over by the actual book section of the shop is a big bookmarks display. These ones are duplicates of what's in there, but these are only my newer designs, the ones that I've had professionally printed because I'm just really happy with the quality of those. At the top, we've got the few items left over from the Garden Gonk launch. There's not very many left over. I think I've got three of the toadstool earrings left, these little cuties. So if you wanted a pair of those, there's only three left and I'm unlikely to get those redone. There's one pair of the Garden Gonk earrings left and two of the charm bookmarks and two of the key rings I believe and that's it once they're gone they're gone I'm not going to be redoing those so if you liked any of the garden gonk charm items they are in the store now and ready for you or if you want to order them on the website then you can go to artanddesigndbykb.co.uk and you'll find them there these are brand new bookmarks which have only just arrived they're not yet available online because they are first going out to my patrons this week. Tomorrow, actually, they'll be being posted out to my patrons as the Moon Glow Mail. And they are available in store already. Uh, but yeah, to get them online, you will have to either be a patron and get them in your Moon Glow Mail or you have to wait another week and then they will be available. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They turned out so good. So this is the one with the um, tassel on and then it's double sided. But on the reverse, I've gone for like a print, like a double bird display and then on this one it's just the one and I've gone for adding my logo on the bookmark this time that's the first time I've actually added my logo onto the bookmark um, I'm quite pleased with it but I'm going to wait and see what sort of feedback I get by having that on there now and the rest of the display here are my pin badges I have duplicated towards the bottom with the pin badges because I wanted to put all the shelves up knowing that I am going to be launching a lot more pin badges over the coming weeks and months but I didn't want to leave empty shelves. And then what you can see behind me is the main wall display. Really happy with how this green has turned out. And then another little feature I've added are some lights. <laughs> My son has actually got it on colour changer. Um, I just want it on the plain white, but I'm not too sure. There you go. That's what I'm hoping for, just the plain white. Although it has got a really nice green. I'm quite tempted by the green as well. Let's have a little look. I'm not sure which one looks better on screen but yeah I'm really really happy with how it's going. The sign originally was just a logo sign but I've changed that now to a logo, a little bit about the fact that KB products are designed by me and that obviously I'm here in the shop and it's the person that's serving them. Because we are in Seaton in Devon it's like a seaside town so it's quite a touristy town so although my regulars know that these are my products those visiting the town for the first time and visiting the shop for the first time may not know that Art and Design by KB is actually run by the person they see in the shop. So I've added that. And because Instagram is the main place I'm trying to grow right now, I've added a scan to follow me on Instagram. And of course I've added my website for anyone that wants to know where they can order products after they have left and not in Seaton anymore. Uh, so what we've got on the wall at the moment is everything I've got. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I started laying this out. I could not believe how much I had left, which is barely anything. So I've got a few of the shaped bookmarks left and I've got a row here saved because I'm going to be launching some other shaped bookmarks uh, very soon. So there's just a couple, I think two, three or four of those ones. So those are my shaped bookmarks. Then we've got my magnetic bookmarks and there's like one, two, three, four of the toadstool one two of those and one of those so again it's really helped to highlight for me how much stock I had left it's much more obvious than when I was keeping it out in the studio in boxes 
uh, to how much I've got. It's probably um, all linked on to my, well, it is all linked on to my Shopify as well. So I could see it all on there, but visually seeing how much stock has really helped me to think, actually, you're doing okay. <laughs> you are selling it really well. And it's, although it's really quiet online right now, I think that's just the time of year and it has been selling so, so well in store that now I've got reassurance things are gonna go okay. So the other thing we've got are my planners. So we've got my Tattle weekly planner, my new daily planner, which features my little bunny illustration. We've got two of my meal planner pads and there is space here because there is a new one coming today. It's arriving today. So you'll see that in the next vlog. And then there is space here for two other um, pads of this size, the A5 size. So those are also arriving today. You'll see them in the next vlog. And then I've got my A6 notepads. And again, three or four designs have already sold out, although I have got space down here. I don't know how far down you can see. Um, and those will be to put some more of these pads when they arrive. And then I'm gonna move you down a bit so you can see what I've done at the base. So what I have done down here is I have lots of space left over on the wall. And then I have some of my notebooks in a box here. I've got my Lucky Dip mystery sticker packs and my Lucky Dip pin badges. They go really, really well through the summer season. Uh, and so I know that they've done well in previous years when I've done mystery bags and Lucky Dips and things. So I'm doing those now with my stickers and my pin badges. And then here are some of the stickers. Now, I was having a bit of a worry about how best to display the stickers. And so what I've done is I have created this new packaging. So this new packaging is a temporary situation. It's a temporary solution because at the moment I have got all of these cello bags and I've got the card ready to use. When it comes to running out of the cello bags, I am not gonna be reinvesting in any cello bags at all. So once each size has gone, I will not be buying any more. So at the moment, I have done a printed backing card to say that it is a waterproof vinyl sticker. And obviously I've added my website at the back and I've popped them into these cello bags. Now, this is something that obviously a lot of people won't like. They won't like the plastic element to it. So. I'm only using these, and I will let people know that I'm only using these because I already have them, and it would be a waste for me not to use them. Moving forward, my plan is to actually die cut these so that I, when I cut them, there's gonna be an extra green space at the top, and I actually have a Euro punch, so I can then just Euro punch into the backing card. So there'll be no cello packet over the top, it will just be a backing card. I'll use a removable glue dot to put the sticker onto the backing card and I will punch it with the Euro hook. So that's what I'm gonna do moving forward. Temporarily, however, I can use these cello bags because I've got them and I have thousands of them because it's one of the things we use for lots of different products and putting things into it. And I must have three or four years ago ordered about 5,000 cello bags. So I've got a lot left. <laughs> so yeah they're looking really cute um there is just these ones at the moment i haven't packaged all of them up it was just an experiment initially uh, but i'm really happy with how they have turned out i think it makes it much much easier for a shop display i have got already in the shop like a big basket of stickers and people do love a rummage through and i put on the back like a code that relates to some a letter that relates to then the pricing list and people would know which sticker cost which based on the code that they can look at on the code sheet. Uh, and that's all fine, but there's a lot of like touching each sticker and they get curled and bent a little bit. So for the vinyl stickers, for the waterproof vinyl stickers of that size and above, I'm gonna be using that package solution. And what I've also done is the next size up, again, with bags I already have. These bags don't have the hooks on them, so they're gonna end up going into this basket here and then once I've used all the cello bags it's just going to be the card sheet as I say with extra printed at the top euro punched and then it will be suitable for hanging and these are my slightly larger stickers and that's how they're going to look from now on in the shop when I post them out I'm still going to be posting ones without any packaging because I just think it's much more uh, eco-friendly and it saves on costs as well so when you're ordering stickers online your stickers will still come in an envelope a paper envelope uh, sealed up with that nice sticker that says your stickers are inside 
It's just that when you purchase them in store or for any wholesalers for the future, that's how the stickers will arrive. They will come packaged with the backing card. Uh, these are some of the key rings that I've had for a while now. So there's a few left over of the crystal designs um, and then a few left of the um, bipolar one and the axolotl. Plenty of room to add more. And yeah, there's room at the top as well. I realised I don't actually have any printouts of my art prints in store. I only have some of my older ones from before my printer changed and also before I started using glossy art paper. Uh, I have test prints which I keep back in the studio but I don't have any packaged up so my job today is going to be to make some mystery bags for the store to see how they go. I know they go really well at markets and fairs so I'm going to see if they do just as well in shops. So I'm going to make some mystery bags up today. I'm going to print some art prints today and put some up at the top I think and then a little basket down at the bottom. I'm thinking I'm going to do A6 and A5, maybe a couple of A4. I'm not 100% sure on that. It's so different selling in a shop than it is selling at markets and fairs and online. So it's kind of like testing the waters to see what works. But So yeah, this is my new shop display and I'm really pleased with how it's going so far. It's obviously not finished yet, uh, but I'm really pleased with the progress and I really hope you like it. I'd love to hear what you think. Do you think that this is going to make a difference, uh, having like a display in a shop like this? Like on this side, you can see the other side a bit better. Do you think this would make you want to shop a little bit more if you knew that the products inside the shop were made by the person in the shop working or made locally, for example? Would it make a difference for you as a tourist who is popping into like a, a shop? Would it make a difference and would you be then more inclined to make a purchase of a pin badge or a bookmark or an item of stationery if you knew that personalisation that went into it. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.